welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and we're going to continue on with our OSPF series and we're going to cover OSPF hellos. We're going to look at some debugs and then in the debugs we're going to see what addresses are contained in those hellos, so where those hellos are going. And then we're going to take a look at the OSPF hello timers and we'll see if we can change the times that the hellos come in. So see if we can make them faster or slower. And the command to do that, we actually have to get into the interface and do something called IP OSPF hello interval. I believe there's a dash in there if I'm not mistaken. But uh, as you can see, I'm doing this video at 5 a.m. in the morning, October 4th. Haven't slept yet and such is the life of a person studying for CCIE. We study until we draw. But I got a little bored and so we're doing some OSPF videos. We're continuing on with Practice Topology 5. Hopefully you looked at the first video and correctly set up OSPF. So OSPF is running on all three routers and you're able to verify that by going to router 1 and we'll just do a show IP route. You should see router 2 and router 3 in there. And we'll just verify that by pinging router 2, the loopback of router 2, and pinging the loopback of router 3. All right, so let's take a look at the debug and see what is coming into our router and what is going out of our router. So debug IP packet. Oh, let's do debug IP packet detail. We'll let it run for about 20 seconds or so or so. So on a fast Ethernet link, hellos will come every 10 seconds. So my fast Ethernet interface is sending hellos out every 10 seconds. And then router 2 is sending hellos into us every 10 seconds. So on average, we should see a hello every 5 seconds. And also our loopback interface is sending hellos. Not really going anywhere, but it's still a virtual interface, so it does still does some hello stuff. Okay, let's do a U space all to stop the debug. Let's take a look at a couple lines here. How about that line right there? All right, so we have a packet source coming from 10.10.12.1, so that's us sending it out. And take a look at this destination. It's a multicast address, 224.005, so that's pretty cool. 224.005, it's telling us it's going out fast Ethernet 00, that kind of makes sense. So it's being flung out here towards router 2. Length here is 80 bytes. And you can see sending broadcast multicast, protocol number is 89. So that's pretty nice. And look at here, we've got a packet coming in. The reason we know it's coming in is because it's coming from 10, 10, 12, 2. That's the other side. That's from router 2. Same destination, same length, protocol 89. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so we've got pretty good stuff there. Let's see if we can start the debug on router 2. Pull in my router 2 console window. Debug IP packet detail. Wait a couple seconds. Okay, we'll type in you all to stop the debugs. Okay, so router 2 is actually going to be the busiest if you run the debug. And the reason for that is not only are we sending hello packets out this way, so out towards router 1 and out towards router 3, we're also receiving stuff from router 1 and router 3. So it's going to be the busiest out of all of them. And let's take a look at what we have here. So source 10.10.12.2, so that's us sending out. 10, 10, 23, 2, so that's us sending out towards router 3. And as you can see here, this is us getting something from router 1, source 10, 10, 12, 1. So it's coming from this side of router 1. So that's pretty nice. Let's just do a show IP route on router 2. 
So you can see we are able to get to everywhere. And actually on all three routers, we can get to the other two routers. So we have complete connectivity on this. All right. So timers. Well, OSPF on a fast Ethernet line, as I said, will send hellos every 10 seconds. We could verify that. We could do a show IP OSPF interface, and this will give us details of our interface in terms of OSPF. So you see stuff like router ID that we'll cover later. We have a cost of 10, so we'll cover the cost and metrics of OSPF. But here's what we have. Timers interval hello 10, dead 40. This is known as the fast timer, 10 and 40. And then a slow timer is 30 and 120. You'll probably see that on serial lines and on your frame relay stuff. As you can see, we have a hello due in nine seconds. If I hit the up arrow, we've got hello due in one second and it should reset. So basically every 10 seconds, it's gonna get a hello, it's gonna reset. If it doesn't get a hello in 40 seconds, then the router knows something is wrong. And we can change those timers by running the IP OSPF hello interval command. Now, what's going to be interesting here is watch what I do on router 1. Well, go on router 1, cough T, you actually have to go into the interface, fast 0, 0. Now, remember here that router 2's interface right here, it's sending us and receiving, it wants to receive and it wants to send every 10 seconds. But on router 1, we're going to do something interesting, IP OSPF hello, just hit tab there to complete it, hit question mark and we can enter in number of seconds. So let's be, let's be cool, let's change it to 5, space question mark, and we basically hit enter. Okay, so we'll exit out of there. Let's hit the up arrow a couple times to get back to our show IP OSPF interface. And you could see, let's see what we have here. Hello interval is five. Notice that the dead interval automatically changed to four times that number. So when you change the hello interval, the dead interval automatically changes. But the opposite is not true. So if we go back to the interface, we also got this wonderful message here. You can see the adjacency is down. Reason for that is that the hello timers must match. So if one is sending at 10 and the other is sending at five, eventually the sides are gonna time out. They're not gonna match. And the OSPF adjacency is gonna go down. So they must match. So we're going to change the dead interval. So let's do IP OSPF question mark and you could see here the dead interval. Now remember right now the hello interval is at 5, dead interval is at 20. Let's change the dead interval back to 40. IP OSPF dead interval 40. Exit out of there. And let's take a look at show IP OSPF interface. All right, so we have a dead interval of 40. Notice the hello interval stayed at five. Okay, so when you change the hello interval, the dead interval changes automatically. But when you change the dead interval, the hello interval stays the same. Okay, we'll just keep it at that hello of 5 and dead of 40. Let's go over to router 2. Go conf t, oops, conf t interface fast 0, 0. IP OSPF hello interval, and let's change that to 5. Now remember, our dead interval has changed to 20. The other side, the dead interval has changed to 40, so let's change the dead interval to match. And with any luck, our adjacency comes back to full. There we go. It's back up. So we are good on this link, R1 to R2. So now every five seconds, we have hellos being exchanged between the two routers. 
But remember, between R2 and R3, everything's still set at 10 seconds and 40 seconds. So between your network, the hello interval doesn't need to be the same, but between the actual links, they do have to be the same. All right, let's go back to router one. Now this is going to be beyond CCNA, but just so you can see it, what the dead interval is for is that if your router misses four hello intervals, right? So let's just exit out of there, show IP OSPF interface. So actually in this case, if you have your hello interval set to five and your dead interval set to 40, that means you can miss eight hellos, so 40 seconds worth of hellos, and then the router will consider that link in trouble, dead, basically, and it's going to start looking for other routes. We can actually change that by doing this interesting command. So conf t interface fast 00, zero IP OSPF dead interval, and if you were eagle-eyed and you hit the question mark there, you will have noticed that there is this command, minimal, and this is a pretty cool command. What this will do is it will make the dead interval one second. One second. So if it doesn't receive hellos and it, there's a, a lag of hellos of greater than one second, it's going to declare the link dead and start looking for other routes. Now, of course, in our topology here, where everything is in a straight line, that's kind of silly because there's no other way to go. But imagine if you had a network where you had redundancy and stuff like that, so other routers up here and links over here, then this command might make sense. So IP OSPF, hello, IP OSPF dead interval minimal, we'll hit question mark, and then we have a hello multiplier, question mark, and the number of hellos set to one second. So we'll put three. So every second there are three hellos sent. And if you miss three hellos, then the link is considered down and the router will send out uh, basically a trouble message saying, hey, other OSPF routers, uh, I think the link is down. I need to find another route. Let's actually set that. Exit out of there. We'll do a show IP OSPF interface. And you can see your hello interval of 333 milliseconds, dead interval of one. And let's just quickly set router two to be the same thing. Go over to router two. We're already in the interface. IP OSPF dead interval minimal. Hello multiplier three. And I'll be brave. And let's just move router two off of the screen. We'll go to router one and let's do a debug. Kind of scared to do this, but we should see a flood of hellos basically flying across our screen when I start this. So debug IP packet. I'm not going to do detail there. So debug IP packet, and you can see we got a whole bunch of stuff flying. So every every second I'm sending out three hellos, and also the other side is sending three hellos. So I'm getting a total of six hellos every second. I'm going to stop my debug. And notice when I stopped my debug, I still had hellos in the buffer, so it, stuff still kept going. All right, so that was a quick and easy video, hopefully, of OSPF hellos. We went over the debugs, we saw the addresses in the hellos, and then we changed the timers. Thanks for watching.